all right my people welcome back onto this channel well this is another strong one reaching us well still on the matter yoruba nation no going back exactly what the days exactly what the people are talking about right now a lot of things are going wrong hmm. in the country to the extent you know the parents in fact let's say our parents have now come out they have not, they are now crying that Bola Metinumbu, hmm, President Bola Metinumbu, we beg you in the name of God, stop the increment of everything. Hmm. This one that you are increasing everything on a daily basis. Our mothers have come out right now and they are crying bitterly that the president increased the price of fuel. Also, as if it was not enough, he increased the price of electricity. Hmm. My brother, my sister, as if that one too was not enough, he now increased the you no know, the school fees of our children. Baba hmm. and Bentinumbu, waiting we do you. That's exactly what the women, the mothers, are crying about right now. That what have we done to deserve all this? At least we actually voted for you because we believe you'll be the one to change our life for good. But why are you not doing this to us? My brother, my studies is so strong and uh, this is the one reaching us right now. A lot of people have expressed shock. Well, if you have been following the trend, you understand that you know, recently, recently the president just increased the school fees of our you no know, students and uh, this has not all gone well with everybody with the people in the country a lot of people are not like what is it what exactly is our our offense must you increase everything that is one that you have increased the price of everything right now how do you want us to cope hmm. now with what the parents are saying my brother my sister you will understand that hey things are actually difficult hmm. the parents came out in their numbers and then they have made it clear that hmm, life has been snuffed out of them as a result of such increases in almost all sectors such as fuel electricity and then now school fees hmm. according to them the increase are becoming too many okay the increases are becoming too many and then pouring on the citizens like every rainfall hmm. well speaking in a chat with vanguard yesterday the deputy national president of naptan adeolu ogumbanjo urged the president as a matter of you no know, urgency put a stop to the tuition fee hike in public schools my brother my sister exactly what is going on right now see the people have now they have not they've been pushed to the wall i pray that what happened during the answers will not even repeat itself this time around because a lot of things have gone wrong as far as this country is concerned and then a lot of people you know are heart of patience right now that is that what is going on we have said the times with that number as far as one Nigeria is concerned my brother my sister it's nothing you no know, to the masses it cannot take anybody anywhere and exactly we have said the times with that number how would you be increasing no uh, fees no school fees <clears throat> that no that means you don't even want the people to go to school anymore they have said it that they want you just want to take over the country if you are out there you are going to school they will tell you they did they go to any school so if that is the case but that will increase it if you are unable to pay the majority of people will drop but my brother my sister i've told you times to that number Bola Metinumbu in there will not tell you that he is working alone. That's exactly what it is. 
the president will not tell you he's working alone he's actually you no know, working for these people exactly what they want for the increment of you no know, school fees my brother my sister if you are wise you will now understand that these people are the one ruling this country we have said it times to that number let baba use this opportunity to declare yoruba nation so that at the end of it all it will not be a dino a dino i tell you now they don't want our our children to go to school because they have seen it that even they themselves did not have the opportunity to go to go to school so why would you not want to go to school so what we we'll do is they made an arrangement Baba Tinumbu, yes, we have made you the president. Nobody will remove you there. For the next eight years, anything we will tell you, now you go, they do. Yes, and then if you know, say, you know, go feed Duam, we go come out to you. My brother, my sister, this might sound like a joke, but exactly what we are saying. The handwriting is fully written on the wall. As it stands right now, the handwriting is fully written on the wall. We don't need a soothsayer to tell you what their plan has been. The Fulanese have complained severally that they did not go to school and that these other people are going to school at will. So right now, what can we do that it will not show that we don't want to stop them from going to school, which is let us increase their school fees. By the time they they see that they will not be able, they cannot pay. Nobody will tell them to sit at home and go and learn work. My brother, my sister, hey, this is not funny again, no. It is not funny again. I don't know the aspect to which you are looking at it, but the truth of the matter is everything is going down, and then we are watching. Nobody is saying anything. Nobody is saying anything. Now we are saying, okay, let us go for yoruba nation majority of people are not taking it seriously and exactly where the problem has been nobody is taking it seriously before you know it these people will take over the whole of nigeria then we have our own yoruba nation why can't we come together and then get it declared why can't we call on the president no matter what because this thing at the end of it all we don't want to regret it we don't want to uh, we don't want a situation where i will be like ah if we had known but right now though some good people have been talking about it that we just have to go our separate ways baba should just use this opportunity but my brother my sister if you are still out there you are shouting one nigeria there's nothing like one nigeria they are showing it to us we are supposed to have known what is going on from the increment of fuel so the increment of uh, what is it called electricity now school fees my brother my sister how long are we going to continue like this we need to wake up we need to tell it out hmm. the urban nation is just the only way and then uh, no going back exactly what the people are still talking about well my brother my sister what more can we say unto this meanwhile let me have your own take on this my people and remember to subscribe for more updates if you are just joining us on this channel for the first time all right thanks and god bless